I'm cleaning up that gear arrangement. See if I can use this to drive the mechanism for a while just to, to free everything up. But I will check this, uh, check that unit first. Just taking the cover off. Uh, have a look at the claw. It's all well gunked up with nasty grease. We'll get rid of that because that's not doing any good. So I'm screwing the back plate. Try to get this plate off, but got these spindles to deal with. I can see the gears in there, and um, it's not a pretty sight. In there, um, see if we can get in there. Seriously gunked up. It's not really a surprise that the whole thing is extremely reluctant to turn. It's really not happy. Um, right, some deeper investigation. Inside, if I turn this gear. which is connected to basically the claw movement and from that we get a top sprocket turning through gears and we get the bottom sprocket turning through that gear in theory that big gear is driven by this gear from the motor but, excuse me a moment, when I try to turn this gear, I'm having to have this glove on to stop ripping my hands to bits. It's very reluctant. There's no way that driving this is going to drive that and drive everything else, in my opinion. When am I ever wrong? Right. It's just too hard. I think there's an in between gear, if you like. Um, there. But it does seem that seems in good condition. The gears generally seem okay, but I'm wondering whether the casting has deteriorated. And everything's squeezed up too tight. I know some of this projector is made of Mazak. There's no way that you're going to drive that safely. I mean, you might be able to drive it with a gear drive, I suppose. It's dangerous for the brass gear. But it's not, it's not good enough. Now what I was thinking, because, excuse me, when you turn this gear it's easy. Easy enough. Hmm, maybe. The little certain points of the claw movement bits. And that would probably ease off enough to be able to be usable, I think, um, to drive it from this shaft. Maybe. Worth a try. Keep this gear engaged because it's driving the bottom sprocket, but don't try to drive it from here because that's just a waste of time. In my humble opinion. So, fully on there. The motor over there, somehow. Is that going to work? Probably not, but with an extension on there, it might do. I think that's our only hope, Obi-Wan. Get rid of that. And see whether that's going to do the job. Drive it to here. I have no idea what the gearing ratio would be. I'll have to just have a think about that in a minute. Okay, well, I had to get this gear off. Of that shaft. Uh, pockets 
on the other end. That was a learning experience. Anyway, the thing is, it was just binding too much with that gear on. There's no way that was going to be driven. And with lots of cleaning up, and also uh, both cleaning and also then lubricating the claw arrangement, which was definitely binding. It's easing up, and this will now turn very freely. Just five minutes ago, that was hard work. And uh, it's now, that would definitely drive. The question is, when I get them all back together, is that going to be viable as a drive? Don't know yet, let's find out. Well, starting to come alive. 